Hello everyone, this is Rahul Pawar and welcome to my YouTube channel, Express Your Data. In today's interesting interview scenario, we are going to see how to solve uh, the problem or the scenario that was given in, the, in an interview. So like you see on the screen, this is how I have my data name in that I have a comma B and I have a value for that. Now user wants to replicate or convert that into something like this on the right side that you're seeing. Okay. Where all the values of A are in one box, B are in one thing, C are in one thing, and D are in one thing. That is the requirement or the scenario that was given uh, to one of our subscriber. So I've already created a data set for that. Let me take you to Tableau and this is how it is looking. So let us get started and see how we can solve that. And while doing so, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like, share and subscribe and do not forget to comment guys. So let us see how we can solve. So what is that you're getting in mind, you know, when you see that? Okay, so first thing, if I take back here, so what is he doing here? This A comma B, A comma C, A comma D, A comma E we have. So here he's technically separating these two things, A comma B. So a, all A and A comma B, A comma C, A comma D, A comma E. Same like that, B comma C, B comma D, B comma E we have, and all of that are related under one. Now you should get an idea how we can do this first thing. Okay. So in how many ways can we do this? Can you think of it? Okay. So pause the video and, you know, comment, uh, what is the function that you think will, we can use to solve this. So I, uh, I think there are three ways we can do. Okay. So one is using split function we can use or we can use custom split option at data source level. And the third one is using the functions right and left. We can do this. Okay, so I'm going to solve it uh, using split function, but I would encourage you to try using all the other options also that would give you some hands-on practice on the scenario. That is the intention. So without wasting much time, let us get started. And uh, so what is that we need to you know, look into this here? So I'm just first naming this as uh, N1 and I'm using the split function here. So when we use a split function, what is that we need to uh, you know understand? We need to understand what is the delimiter that is being used and what is that we need from that string. So what is the string that we have here? We have name. So I'm writing name or calling that a field name here, comma. What is the delimiter that we see here? We see comma as the delimiter. You see that is the consistent across the. So I'm writing that under quotes followed by, because we need these two. First, I'm taking the first string. So I'm specifying one here. So we'll get one here from that. Okay. So click on apply. Likewise, I'm duplicating this and I'm simply editing this and I'm calling it as N2. And uh, here, instead of one, I need the second one from here. So once in the first one, we'll get A, B, C, D. And here we'll get all of this, the second part. Click on apply. Now, if I take this and take N1 and N2, we got what is required. Now, again, the next requirement in this was or the scenario, user wanted a control on these values that are in this, in this N1, A, B, C, D. So whatever the value he selects, only that related N2 should show up. That was the requirement. Now for that, what we can do, we can create a parameter here. So I've already created a parameter here of a string type here. Okay. And because I need values from this N1, I have taken this add values from and I have added using N1 option. So once I did that, because in my N1, I have A, B, C, D, all of that are listed here. Now we need to write a calculation that can show only that value. Now it is not working. Let us establish a relationship our with our database and parameter. So I'm calling N1 is equal to my parameter. 
simple. So I'll take this, apply, okay, and I'll drop it on my filter shell. Apply true and okay. Now whatever the value that you are selecting from this parameter, it is coming up. Okay, a simple and interesting way. Just it shows, you know, uh, the interviewer will check your approach. How are you trying to solve the situation here or, you know, resolve the issue here. And uh, now let us see another approach here. Instead of split, I'm going to use a left and right and we can solve that also. So I'm just using another calculated field I'm, and I'm calling uh, LM and I'm left off. So I'm calling my name and from that I need only one. So what will we get from this? We will get ABCD. Same, click on apply. Okay. Same likewise. I'm duplicating this. And instead of, uh, I'm just editing this and I'll write as RN. And instead of left, we need right here. That's it. We need to use a right function. Now from right side, I need this first string. Right, click on apply. Okay, that's it. So now let us try to drag and drop our LN and RN. See, it is working the same. And if at all you want to establish a calculation with this, now what will we use with the parameter here instead of N1, it will be LN. That's it. It will work. That way we can do that. Or if third approach is, if at all you don't want to do it at this level, maybe you can go at data source level and here you can try to you know click on this and you can custom split automatically it will split this into two parts again there also it will try to use the split function only but we can do it from here also this is the third approach that we can do okay so think if there is any other approach and do let me know in the comment section let us see how many of you will come up with any other thing that you feel we can do it Okay, there are multiple, you know, functions, using functions we can try, obviously. Okay, so that's it from my side in this video. I hope you find this video useful. If it does, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. See you in the next video. Till then, bye-bye and have a good day.